Hi, thanks for joining me again today. I cannot wait to teach you this. So as an editor, this is something that you will use every single day. Um, and I would venture to say every single session. And it's called reference mode. And how to get into reference mode is you hit the shift and the R key. Shift R. And then what you get is on the left side, you get your anchor image. And on the right side, you can change it to any image that you want to work on. So you will see, I'll just make some crazy edits here. I can work on this image on the right, and it does nothing to your anchor image or your reference image on the left. And the reason that is so wonderful is because if you dial an image in, and it's exactly how you want it, your greens and your shadows and your tones are all exactly like you want them. As you toggle through the photos in the same set, you can make sure that they're matching. So you will use it all the time. Almost 100% of the time that I'm editing, I'm using reference mode and I have some type of anchor image here. That's how you can get consistency in your galleries. And you want to be able to return a gallery that's cohesive to your client and looks the same from beginning to end. So get in the habit of editing in reference mode. And again, it's shift R. And once you have the reference screen up, if you want to choose a different image, you just click and drag and drop it into that reference side. And then it becomes your reference image. And it's that easy. And then you just keep editing. Remember, the edits that you make will only affect this image. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, always reach out. I love helping others and sharing what I've learned in the last five years. And also drop in the comment box what you want to learn next. But for today, go practice reference mode. Shift R and you're going to love it. Until next time, happy editing.